Hi guys, my name is Annabelle from Annabelle and Ben's Antics and this is the 12 days of cosplay Christmas. Not that we're doing much cosplaying today because this is going to be our focus. Now, a couple of years ago, I actually brought this sewing box here, which if I move my phone off it, opens up to reveal all of my sewing supplies and it has to be one of the best purchases. I think this cost me 30 pounds and it was full of sewing stuff as well that I have ever actually made. The other day I went into Orinoco, which if you guys have been on this channel for any amount of time, you guys will probably know that it is my favorite charity shop and they had this, which is a Victorian sewing box. And so I brought it, there's nothing inside, it's really really cool, it is a little bit damaged and worn but this thing is solid as and I think we can do a little bit of a good job refurbishing her and then filling her with all the stuff from my sewing drawers because I'm planning on moving soon and I need to put things away anyway so this seems like a good thing. So let's open her up and see what she does. Okay, so firstly here we can see that there's all these little sections. It is a bit dusty and dirty in here. I'm gonna get the hoover out and just go over it in a second. Now these are quite wobbly. I think the screws need tightening, but that's absolutely fine. We can see that there is padding in the bottom of these drawers and this bikey thing. It's really quite disgusting, the padding. It also looks like they've stuck paper in the bottom drawer at some point on the sides. So let's start with taking these padding out, giving everything a hoover and a dust, and then we'll see what we can do about tightening those screws. So using an old kitchen knife, I pried off the gross padding on the bottom of the drawers. Then came out the hoover to take up all the old and rusty, disgusting needles that were underneath it, along with any dust and dirt. Once that was done, I got some kitchen roll and trusty sift just to wipe everything on the inside over and get all that grime off, which was, ugh, this looked lovely. And then we were on to phase two. Okay, so that's kind of clean. Gotta be honest, now I've taken those undersides off. I swear there is a really funny smell coming from this box, but I think that will go away as we clean it some more. So for the next phase, we are going to use some wood repairing oil on everything just to get rid of all the scratches. Hopefully it will cover up some of the damage that's been done to it as well. I have two types of oil, which I think essentially do the same thing. They're exactly the same company as well. So we have Expert Care Wood Repairing Oil. Revitalizes to look like you and covers scratches. Then we have Repairing Oil. Conditions to look like new. I think they do the same thing. Reading the back of them, it seems like they do the same thing. So I'm gonna go with this one, just randomly. This one I'm gonna save because I actually have another wooden project that I need to do a little bit later on. And we've got some cotton wool bods because we don't want to scratch anything. And we're just gonna go along and just rub the entire thing inside and outside down and then we'll leave that to dry for a minute or two. Reading the instructions it actually recommended I use a cotton cloth to put the oil on so that's exactly what I decided to do. Running it all over the box very generously and making sure to get under all the moving parts. There was an immediate change in the wood with it becoming darker and nicer and then once it was done we just had to leave it to dry for a bit. A few hours later I came back with a clean cotton cloth and polished everything up getting off any excess that hadn't been absorbed into the wood. I then got a knife because I could find any kind of screwdriver and tightened all the screws onto the hinges which immediately made the shakiness 10 times better. I mean it isn't perfect still but it's definitely a massive improvement. Okay so the box itself is now as good as I think we're going to get it. The scratches are a hell of a lot less noticeable now that we've put the oil on. It's definitely gone a little bit darker. The wood overall just looks a whole lot nicer. The screws now that they've been tightened are you know it's still a bit shaky but it's definitely nowhere near as bad as it was. So the next thing we need to do is replace the these things, which I am going to see if I can save the card that's on the bottom, but peel off all of the top layers because they are disgusting. Then for padding, I have these scraps of felt, so I'm going to see if I can find scraps that will fit these individual sizes. And then for the top, I have this scrap of fabric with some really pretty roses on, which I think will suit the aesthetic nicely. And we're going to pop this on the top, over the top of the felt, so that we still have a kind of soft base, and then glue everything down and leave those to dry. So I started by taking those fabric covers off and putting them straight into the bin. It was here I discovered that the card was actually okay and it had this weird layer of paper on top of it with some padding underneath. It seemed in good condition so I just decided to try and save it. One paper top unfortunately clearly had been soaked in something so I wasn't able to save that so we started by cutting out some more thin paper and I couldn't resist putting a note on it just in case anyone else ever gets into this box in the future to restore it then. I then took some Mod Podge and used it to glue the paper back down. While that dried I cut out the felt, stuck the paper backs onto the padding again and then realised I had absolutely no more Mod Podge. So we mixed some up. To make your own Mod Podge guys you need to mix one part water with two parts PVA glue and then shake it like a martini just like the bartender does for James Bond. Okay. 
Okay, so doing this shaky thing to make my Mod Podge always feels really dodgy. However, it's just reminded me of something. I don't know if any of you ever watched Jonathan Creek. There was one particular episode, one of, say, the more recent ones, probably came out about 10 years ago at this point, where <laughs> he's whacking a ketchup bottle and he breaks his wrist. And then whenever someone asks him for the rest of the episode, Yo, Jonathan, how did you break your wrist? And he's like, Oh, I was, you know, whacking the ketchup bottle. And everyone thinks that he was doing something dodgy when he was literally whacking a ketchup bottle. Right, I think we're mixed. Let's get back to it. So we stuck those felt pieces onto the padded bases before going back to iron and ironing the rose cotton. Then these got trimmed to a size with edges big enough to overlap the ends of the card bases. I then pasted glue around the edges of the card bases and folded everything over, making sure to go over the raw edges with glue as well, just to make sure nothing would unravel. After repeating this three times over, we were done. So I left them next to the radiator to dry. Okay, so originally I wasn't going to do this, but I have found that the paper at the end on the bottom level is really freaking bugging me. So this bottom level, you can see there's paper at the end. There's the non-stained wood at some point. You can see that there's been glue. I think it had paper all stuck here, which is fine. So I don't have any more of the rose fabric, but what I do have is this old pink bed sheet. So this is the right height. What I'm going to do is just cut a massive long length and see if we can stick that with glue into there. And then obviously it will all match. It will be very pink, which is weird because I I'm not a pink person. Lily, what do you think of it? Do you like the new sewing box? Good kitten. But yes, that should work, fingers crossed. Getting out the iron again, we gave the end a press to get out any wrinkles before taking my glue and going around the inside of the base of the sewing box. I did this one side at a time, starting in the corner so the seam hopefully won't be noticeable. And when it was all done, honestly guys, this was so, so fiddly, I do not recommend. But it did get in there and now it was all stuck down, I went over the top of it again with another layer of glue just to make sure it was all covered and stuck down. And damn does it look good now it's done. Plus, because I've only used PVA, should I ever need or want to peel this off, it shouldn't be too hard and it won't hopefully cause any damage to the wood as it would have if I'd used something a bit stronger. So personally I think this immediately looks better, it covers up all that raw wood that we didn't really like the look of. There is one bit where it's just a little bit loose, it's good, we don't need to worry, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. So now all we need to do is wait for this to dry, wait for the bases to dry and we're gonna be done, <laughs> which is really really cool. I am very much excited about this, so while that is drying I'm gonna go cook myself some dinner. Did you want dinner as well? Sherlock or are you just wanting to play with my camera strap? Aren't you just the cutest pretty cat? Well guys it is actually done and oh my gosh doesn't it look so much better and it's actually functional now. Like I said it's still a little bit wobbly but it's a lot better than it was before. The funky smell inside has gone away, it's actually clean, a lot of the scratches have faded thanks to the oil that I put on there. So overall I'd give this project 10 out of 10 and I am now going to move my stuff in it once I get home from filming my other grand reveal which I am also doing today. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me restore this lovely little piece of domestic history. If you did please remember to drop us a like, subscribe for more cosplay Christmas videos. When it's not the festive season I post every single Wednesday so make sure you ring that little notification bell so you don't miss it. Otherwise leave any questions or comments you have down below and I will see you guys next time. Have a very jolly festive season and a very beautiful day and until next time guys, bye!